The following segment is sponsored by Trinity Health and Fitness. Welcome back. If you tuned in to last week's segment with Craig Price from Trinity Health and Fitness, you learned why women are lifting fit women and how our bodies are a furnace with muscles as fat burners. Well, welcome back, Craig. Also, Sean Maple is a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor. Welcome to you both. How are you doing? Welcome. First thing, um, our weightlifting discussion, that was worth an entire segment, but today you've got six recommendations to help us become more efficient fat burners. And number one, you say, get moving early. Yes, the, all the studies have shown that we should actually get up and work out with weights before we even eat breakfast. If we do that, we burn more calories and it puts us in fat burning mode for the rest of the day. So it's just awesome to go ahead and get up out of the bed Hit to, head to the gym and get your workout on yeah. and then have breakfast afterwards. What a good habit that would be to put in place. Um, sleep is also crucial, not just to stay sharp mentally, but sleep helps you get the most out of your workout? Absolutely. Uh, studies have shown that if we don't get at least seven hours of sleep, that we will um, actually, our bodies will start getting depressed and start going through a stress and will uh, produce cortisol. Cortisol is a killer when it comes to weight training. So. We don't want to be producing too much cortisol and uh, putting, this, putting our bodies in a place where we can't burn calories. We want to burn calories and build muscle and build lean muscle. That sleep is important. Tell it to the kids. Um, you're not saying that people have to work out every day either. You're not saying they have to put in a ton of time at the gym. What's the one-third rule? The one-third rule is one hour three times a week with weights. That's weight tra just weight training. Mm -hmm. And uh, studies have shown that if you do that, uh, it gives you plenty of time for uh, recovery and it allows you to get enough in that you can really start burning a lot of calories and building a lot of lean muscle. And your tip number four is push hard. You say we need to push ourselves to the point of failure? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people, they'll grab a lighter weight and make it kind of easy on themselves and that's just not good because if you don't really push yourself, you're not going to get the maximum uh, burning, uh, calorie burning benefits and you're not gonna get those lean muscles that you want and create that lean body. So what we recommend is take it to failure, whether it be five reps or 15 reps. And preferably you would wanna go 12 to 15 reps. That's what we recommend for most people to stay at is 12 to 15 reps. So don't be afraid of those, the big weights. Um, number five, that tip is pretty attainable. Talk to us about the importance of rest and recovery. Well, rest and recovery is so important because a lot of people uh, they can overtrain, and then that, then that increases injury instead of reduces injury. And it also doesn't give the body time to recover, recoup. The muscles need a, a, a definitely a day of rest. Uh, certain body groups, you gotta let them rest so they can recover and recoup, and so that you can actually burn the calories you want to burn. I can get on board with that rest. The final tip has to do with nutrition after you work out. We can put all six tips up on the screen for people to see, but Craig, you say getting carbs and protein immediately following exercise, that is important, and there are all six of them on screen. Absolutely, uh, right after your exercise with weights, you need to get a two to one ratio of carbs and protein, and I mean good carbs, not French fries from McDonald's, <laughs> okay. but get good carbs, get uh, you know some fruit, and get some uh, good weight, good quality whey protein, or you know, quality chicken or fish or something like that. But you want to definitely go ahead as soon as possible after your workout. Go ahead and put that back in your mm -hmm. system where your system can start recovering. And these are the tips that help you burn fat all day long, not just during the workout, but even once you get home and then start doing the rest of your day. Um, now back in uh, Sean Maple. Yes. You came. You came along today. What's your uh, What's your history with Trinity? You've been there well, for a long time. Yes. 15 years. Mm -hmm. I've actually known Craig for 20. I started out as a member of the gym and was working out and people started asking me questions and Craig noticed and said, would you like to start working here? Wow. Like, okay, that's great. Well, it just goes to show he wants the types of people there that will, that will connect and will make everybody feel welcome. Um, what do you love about your job there? What do you love about your Most interactions? Most of all, I love my senior classes. I teach a lot of senior, cl senior classes there, senior fit, senior I mean, silver sneakers, mm -hmm. as well as water aerobics, mm -hmm. and everyone helps everyone else out, motivates each other. And you've and probably seen those those stories where people are changing their lives through yes, fitness, through coming to Trinity. Definitely. Wonderful. Um, Trinity Health and Fitness has state-of-the-art cardio equipment, outstanding personal trainers, uh, swim lessons, a smoothie bar, child watch, so many amenities. You're located at the Mary Black Campus in Spartanburg. Um, 
you know, what else do you want people to know today or, or as the example you brought with you? Well, Sean's a great example of what our club stands for. Sean always has a great care for all the uh, clients there, especially the seniors. Like even just recently, I seen him sitting at a table after a class, spending an hour, maybe two hours with several of the clients, just of his own time, his own energy. Yep. Uh, so that's what we're all about, caring about our people and caring about our clientele. Not just You're not just a number, you're actually a name. We know almost everybody by first name basis. and. We talk to people like that. And uh, the last thing I'd like to do, I'd like to share the scripture of the week, and that is uh, John 3.17. Most people know John 3.16, but one of my favorites is John 3.17. And that scripture states that God sent Jesus into the world, not to condemn the world, but he sent his son, that through his son, Jesus, that the world might be saved. And, you know, that's just so important because most people... A lot of times they look at Christianity as a condemning, you know, I'm going to be condemned or Jesus wants to condemn me or God wants to condemn me. But God doesn't want to condemn anyone. God wants to allow salvation to everyone, and he provided Jesus for that. Uh, one great story about that, too, was, and Sean's a great example of that. Sean wasn't, didn't, didn't want to talk about politics, didn't want to talk about religion, didn't want to have nothing to do with Jesus. And uh, as we began to do the uh, fitness classes with the seniors, the seniors recognized that Sean didn't want to pray and he didn't want to be a part of all that. And so they got it in their head. They said, we're going to start praying for him specifically. And they began to have prayer meetings for him after the class. And <laughs> Sean got saved right after that. So yeah, give his heart to Jesus. So it's just an awesome thing that's going on at Trinity Health and Fitness. Mind, body, and soul. They're yes. all uplifting. Yes. All right. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for being here, and thanks, thanks for joining for us today. We'll look us. forward to seeing you back here real yes. soon. Yes. Right. Send it back to you in the studio.